One, two, three, let's go. Wednesday afternoon, hoping you will tune into our show. It's hosted by Cuz. Welcome back to the Football Referee with Emmy Hickens, Trevor Gear, and Femi Mandariola. Oh, an assistant ref and sometimes got booked for the privilege of doing so. But he wore it on his sleeve again, um, which which I like. I like managers who do that because they do often tend to be successful because their players see them as someone they can relate to who they know will look after them or protect them or defend them. They won't criticise them overly or at all in public, stuff like that. So I did think when he went, because he was like a father figure, I'm sure, to the team, to the squad, I, I wondered, will some of the other players want to go because the spirit won't be there and so on. But you have to say, Slot, I think his name is, is now settled in. He's having an impact. I mean, they're way ahead in the table, as we've said. And I get the feeling his players respect him. I, I, we have hear one or two whispers. I mean, is, is Salah, I saw he was a bit disappointed with not being offered a contract or the one he wanted. And I think you've touched on that before, that maybe he won't survive in that team. Now, I, I find it hard to believe the manager slot wouldn't rate Seller because he is scoring goals. He got two last weekend, I think. He's a great player and, and still a world-class footballer. So I don't really understand what may be going on there. But as in other parts of life, you get personality clashes and maybe any manager will sometimes not hit it off with a player or players. So maybe it's something to do with that. But generally, I think Liverpool have kind of stuck together. They, I don't, I can't remember anyone who's left, uh, say, since since uh, Klopp went. I mean, maybe there were one or two, but I can't remember anybody who's gone. And they so they've maintained, they've kept their team together and it's paying off. They're doing very, very well. So yeah, it's the, de the debate. Who is most responsible for a team's performance? Ultimately, it's a, it's a mixture of both, of, of all the staff, the coaches, the head coach or the manager, and the players getting on with each other, all pulling in the same way. And that perfect storm of good things can create a perfect team. But yeah, I don't think you can blame the manager for leaving Sporting Lisbon and blaming their defeat on him because players are professional and if they if they mourned his loss they still got to do got to earn their money they still got to play the game so i don't know these these odd results happen sometimes yeah. don't they it does yeah i was just thinking about the margin you know five five goals um and they were only able yeah. to score one i was just thinking about the margin i mean all right so these odd results happen uh, but funny enough what you said it, it, it does hold true actually because when big teams lose they lose by big margins and uh, this yeah. season anyway this season uh, i mean uh, real madrid lost to barcelona four goals we're going to take a short break now the football ref will be back shortly you're listening to the football referee with emmy hickens trevor gear and femi madariola the football referee will be back shortly. Please stay tuned. The football referee is looking for sponsors. If you're a business out there looking to spread the word about the products and services you offer, please get in touch on our website, deepstuffrecords.com. And also, if you're looking to get involved on this show, Please reach out via our Facebook page, Deep Stuff Radio or Deep Stuff Records. Thank you. Say hello to old Mimi, Dr. Gladys and Rose, three beautiful ladies who join us on our shows. There's one other bro, sometimes joins us on the show. His contributions thoughtful and smart Femi is his name He likes to play our game And his smart solutions come right from the heart 